Rest. <laughs> Probably sleep for a decade. Um, we've been on the road for two years now. We are going to end this incredible journey in New York City um, mm -hmm. uh, with a week of special Maybe. shows. Have great. we announced that? I guess I just announced it. You announced definitely the seven. The ne yeah, we announced the seven that Hammerstein, I have to let people know out there, this is an exclusive. This is a show is almost sold out. It's not even on sale yet. Wow. But I think the pre sales are, are the mm -hmm. show is virtually sold out. So if people are planning on being at the Hammerstein. Right. You, you get tickets quick. Um, but we're going to do a few special shows and uh, to celebrate. And one thing we're doing is we're joining um, Guinness Book, Book of World Records, mm -hmm. which I used to love as when I was a kid. I used to look at the guy mm -hmm. with the giant fingernails. Yeah. And the world's <laughs> largest squash, Definitely. and there was all kinds of bizarre thing in there. You know, uh, um, the three titted uh, um, uh, Tasmanian devil. Of course, that was a great one. Oh, maybe that was another magazine. But anyway, um, we're going to celebrate in style. We thought it'd be really fun to to lodge this kind of accomplishment with the Guinness Book of World Records people, and uh, that's what we're going to do in New York. So it'll be over 300 shows for This Is War and uh, the tour of a lifetime and we're really happy that we finally get to come we got to come back here to Mexico City uh, uh, because we love it here yes we do and, uh, that's, that's a nice place to be uh, also they ask you what from all the concerts that you've given so far what has been your favorite if you have any favorite oh, man. it's impossible to pick one there's been so many amazing places we've visited so many amazing people yeah uh, I mean we were talking about that earlier yeah it's impossible to pick one show out of the hundreds that we've played. We've had great shows here. Yeah, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mexico's great. We've had great shows in Germany, <laughs> Poland, France, America. <laughs> just the Earth. Canada. <laughs> just the globe. <laughs> South America, Japan, China, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai. <laughs> wow. Oh, you can forget one place. Exactly. Of course. <laughs> and talking about tour, what's the hardest thing about touring so long? I think probably the only really hard part is the taking a human body and if this is the earth right here, you take a human body and kind of circle it around like this a bunch of different times and making a nice gift for somebody to thank. You just, you're taking a human body and throwing it all over the place. Um, so that it, it ends up being a, a bit of a beat down physically, but we're loving it. We had, we've had a great... No complaints. It's, yeah. it's, this is dream time. This is the, the most wonderful yeah. experience you could ever imagine. You get to share it with the best people ever, the echelon. I'm thinking about also your fans. There was a, a, a question that they, that they say that a lot of people think that it's sort of ridiculous to be like that devoted to a band. What would you say to that people, you know, that say that it's ridiculous to be devoted to a band? Because you have great fans. Well. I guess the, the question being, what would we say to people that think it's ridiculous to be so devoted to a band? I would, I would say nothing to those people because they clearly don't understand commitment and passion and the idea of family yeah. and of faith. And uh, so you really, you, you can't explain some things to some people. To quote me on that. Exactly. <laughs> well said. That's good. Um, also, they ask you if there will be another album in the future. You never know what's in the future. I, I think we've talked about this a lot, and what's important to us is to finish this year with as much focus on the live shows as possible. Yeah. Um, we have an enormous uh, tour even ahead of us from now to December. We're going to Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Poland, Germany, Belgium, 
uh, an entire tour of France and uh, and then New York City. Uh, did, I, did I forget anything? No, I think I got it all. Uh, so that's what's in front of us and that's what we're focusing on and uh, it's uh, it's exciting. We love it. This is what we've always dreamed of and, and the fact that it's reality and is is the most incredible gift to you of all. Definitely. Now Amen. <laughs> if you could be any Disney character <laughs> what would you be? <laughs> Tell them. I was just trying to think of something. Any Disney character? Yes. Mighty Mouse! Is he Disney? Or no, but why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No? I don't know. Disney characters? Yes. Or any, perhaps any Minnie other... Minnie Mouse. Me? <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> With your polka dub dress. Nice. Yeah, hey, you remember that stuff. Yes. That's pretty good. But also, there were a lot I think of Shannon would make a good Popeye. <laughs> you would. What about you? What so, about you? Spinach, I have a weird relationship with, so that'll be a tough one. <laughs> um, spinach, how funny is that? Like spinach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we done? Yeah. All right. So we're back from our space. We are back. <laughs> Okay, good. Um, also, there were uh, many fans well, asked. Before we uh -huh. can go into yes. this, let's do let's do a location oh, yes. check. Oh, yeah. Please do. So, location check. Everybody, um, take a moment. Mm -hmm. um, take a deep stop freaking out <laughs> and type in uh, your country. What country you're you're uh, you're at right now? Um, we're in Mexico, um, but everybody. Uh, uh, type in where, where they are. Okay. England, New York, the, Hong Kong, England, England, the USA, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil Latvia, US, Latvia. Poland, yeah, Greece. Here, read it, Thomas, so you can say Finland, Greece, Belgium, Germany, Russia, go. Latvia, New York, Finland, Colombia, Brazil, Norway, Mexico, Greece, Pennsylvania, that's the USA. Chile, <laughs> Poland, Russia, the Netherlands, <laughs> Canada, Canada. Latvia. Uh, Finland, Latvia, <laughs> Croatia, <laughs> Greece, Netherlands, Russia. Titties. <laughs> titties. It's my favorite. Titties. Titties. Chile. Ukraine. Paraguay. Boobies. Netherlands. Finland. Russia. Croatia. Croatia. Let's go. Netherlands. Yeah. What's going on? What else we got? It's going so fast. Watch Belgium. Yeah. I saw. Yeah. 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 Fast. Venezuela. Venezuela. Argentina. Hola. Ukraine. U.S. Wow. Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. Lots of places. Lots of people. Oh, Tomo. Yes. Lots of people ask about a cooking book. Are you a good cook? Are you writing a no. book about cooking and <laughs> some cookies? No, or... I'm not. No? I'm not writing any cookbooks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, there were a lot of people asking if you ever considered Wait doing... another 10, 20 years. Just then. give me some ten time. Years. I'm stealing <laughs> recipes from around the world. 10, <laughs> ten 20 years. Then. The World Cookbook by Tomo. That will be a good book. Yeah, um, we have to be a little bit closer to uh, uh, old age home. Or I retirement. agree, I agree. Yeah. It's not time. Uh, also, there were a lot of people asking about any possible collaboration with My Chemical Romance and Lady Gaga. Would you consider doing uh, a We'd collaboration? We'd love to do something. I mean, Lady Gaga has a wonderful voice. She's, uh, she's really talented, very sweet, and uh, she's beautiful, which is always a, an extra encouragement as well. I mean, she's she's an interesting person, so it would be fun to have her sing a song. It would be great. It would be really great. Um, and of course, um, uh, the other part of the question was My Chemical Romance, um, uh, and they're friends of ours, and we love them, and, and we'd love to do something with them. They're wonderful people. Yep. Um, and they have two brothers in their band, too. Mm -hmm. We have we have a lot in common with those guys. We feel like they're our kind of. Hey, we've got two brothers. Yeah. <laughs> You're meant to be. You just got it, huh, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> people want to know about your childhood nicknames. Well, uh, 
Mine's Tomo. Yours is Tomo. Yeah. Wasn't it T.I.? Shannon's was Dirk Diggler. No. Well, oh, no. Was it a child? Uh, yeah, it, it was that hey, too. It was Tomo. Right? Well, we, we're, we're creating history. That's what we did. <laughs> Burt Reynolds. Um, <laughs> Bette Midler. Burt Reynolds. And... What's the guy? Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. <laughs> 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 there was, uh, asking that how do you guys feel about being the inspiration for so many people out there I mean you and your music of course are we? I, don't, I, I guess we don't really think about that type of thing okay. I mean we get inspired all the time people inspire us we're, we're really happy to um, if anyone gets inspired that's wonderful and, and we thank all the people out there for the inspiration over the years yes do you sing in, a in the shower Yes, every day. Which song Tomo's do you a sing? great singer in the shower. I yeah. wouldn't know because I don't take showers with him, but I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> Opera. Nice. Yeah, I bet you do too. Oh, yeah. Loud. Cool. What else? about you guys? Do you sing in the shower? <laughs> I don't. I sing on stage, so that's about it. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? Bill's asking. Um, if you're planning to release uh, an acoustic CD or a DVD from the show um, in New York. We did release that. It's on iTunes. Okay. On MTV Unplugged, 30 Seconds to Mars. I think they may have been talking about the future shows. Oh, the future yeah. shows. And also the, the show that you will be giving in New York, if you, are you planning to release a DVD about, of that show? I don't know. Well, we're, we've been working on a film um, for quite some time. They're actually filming right now. Come over and film this, Daniel, from behind. This say, hi to, say hi to the world. <laughs> this is Daniel. He's from <laughs> back here. And his telephone number is... And, come, Chris, come over here too so we can show everybody. So we're always filming. We have two cameras pictures. rolling right now. And you never know, maybe this will be part of it. Um, maybe this will end up in the part of uh, in the film. At some point. Oh. All right. What the are <laughs> what are the songs recorded uh, but left out of the MTV Unplugged? Well, we're actually going to release MTV Unplugged. Not just right now. You can get the audio yeah. on iTunes, but I went and asked them if we could release the video as well because I thought it'd be great to share that with people. So we're going to put Alibi. On it because I just did a, a version kind of off the cuff by myself on the acoustic guitar to keep the people entertained that were there being so patient while we were filming so we're gonna put alibi on the as like a bonus as an additional cool. um, piece of material yeah and that's gonna come out really soon um, we're just finishing that up so uh, that, that MTV Unplugged will be uh, available to see not just to, just yeah, to no. hear they also are asking about why are your guitars named Artemis and Pythagoras? Well, it's the same reason that we name our children and the planets, and you know, so we can identify them. Also, they're asking when is Artifact coming out? Artifact is what? When is Artifact coming out? Artifact is a long work in progress. I was actually just editing yesterday. Mm. We have a great group of editors um, that I was working with in Los Angeles. And uh, uh, it's a beast. It's a big film. It's a film, as many of you know, about, about the making of This Is War, about uh, this crazy $30 million lawsuit uh, and the battle with EMI. And about uh, changing the guard and the record business. It's, a, it's an interesting um, project to be a part of. It's been really uh, learned a lot so far. But I can't wait to share it with everybody. I hope it's done sooner. Those are some of the most embarrassing moments on the tour. Someone's gonna animate that and put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it, uh, what will be the most embarrassing moments of the tour? Oh, I don't know. We've had so many embarrassing yeah. moments that we really don't have any. Here you guys need to run close from time. <laughs> Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking things over there. The earthquake's crazy right now. Whoa. <laughs> no, you gotta go. To the right. To the right. <laughs> to the right. <laughs> <laughs> that says doing Star Trek. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't. <laughs> Oh man! What else could we do that would be fun? Take off our pants. What? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! There you go. <laughs> wow, they're riding really, really fast. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Let's try to catch one. We're getting everybody worked up. What is this? Someone says, shake yours. You guys want to see my new skirt? <laughs> Here, I'm going to show you my new skirt. What, would, what has been the most crazy thing you've ever done? <laughs> Look at that thing. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Wait, we're trying to get out of the way, huh? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> they also ask him, um, if you could cover any song, what would song would it, that will be? That you would like to do a cover? We've covered a bunch of songs. Oh, yeah. we, in the future? Uh, yeah, perhaps any other song that you would like to cover? Our own song. Make a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shannon, yeah. if you could share stage with any drummer, who would it be? If I could share a stage with any drummer, yeah, I'd be cool shared... to see him and. Uh, and uh, I'd be, it'd be cool to see him and Neil Peart up on stage, right? Just trading. Yeah, just trading. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> Tyco drummers. I'd like to be on stage with a bunch of, like a bunch. A big, big, big group. Yeah. Like a proper. Like, yeah, like proper Tyco drummers. What about Ringo Starr? Okay, yeah. I could do with some Ringo. Ringo Starr. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. They're also asking about, um, Jared, the, about the triangles in... Uh, uh, your tattoos, I guess, that if they have any particular meaning. Of course. That's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> my glasses. Uh, <laughs> no, the you, you never know when they're crooked. No, they're good. What else? Uh, any more questions? Let's keep the, keep the questions. Yeah, but they write it uh, really, uh, really fast. Do you ever get tired of playing a song? No. Awesome. <laughs> What's the weirdest gift given to you by a fan? Used underwear. <laughs> oh, oh why? What you hey, the question that? is, how did you know it was used? Did you <laughs> yeah. pick them up? Did you actually pick up a fair annoying? Oh, don't say it. I'm not going to say it, okay? What, disgusting. What do you do with the underwear, though? Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> okay. Your glasses. Oh, they're crooked. I, see, you can't really tell. Can you know? Um, what else? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, how can you live on tour spending 24-7 without killing each other? You well, learn, you learn your boundaries. You yeah, you learn space. how to live with each other. It's a process. Learn to not step on each other's toes when they're talking. <laughs> eat well, sleep right. That helps. If you sleep right, eat well, exercise. Cools the jets. Cools the jets, man. Cools the jets, man. <laughs> Looks like starting to wind down. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Look at Jared's head. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in reincarnation? Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe. I mean, you don't know. 
No one knows. Who knows? No one knows. Uh -huh. Okay. Bill's asking you, Jared, how do you feel about turning 40 this year? And if you're planning to do something special for it. Oh my gosh, they're writing really fast. They're writing very fast. Yes, I'm like, ah. Oh. I think the big celebrations for us are on stage and are going to be in New York City in that, that really special week. We're still looking to, to try and figure out if we can do a New Year's Eve show somewhere. It's 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 proving a bit difficult, so we're not sure if that's going to happen or not, but we hope it is. So the New Year's show, we're excited about it. There's a lot of really fun projects. I just finished the notes from the Outer Net book. Did you? Yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks beautiful. Um, nice. It's uh, 800 photographs from, from JaredLetta.com. Wow. I'm holding every single picture I put on the website is in this book. And you can get it on uh, Music Today on our official site or on JaredLetta.com. It's really a really beautiful little book. I'm finishing up the Haiti book. Um, we're working on, on the documentaries, uh, Artifact, and on the live, the live documentary, which is really just this incredible um, uh, assortment of shows from around the world. And you know, uh, we've got a few surprises too. We've got a couple of things that we're going to announce soon that are quite different. Um, uh, that haven't been done quite like the way we're doing them. So we're really excited about that. There, I think, you know, after the shows in November, uh, it, we're gonna have some time to reflect and uh, think about mm -hmm. the future. And that, that's exciting as well. Um, but in the meantime, we've got lots of creative, fun work. And uh, one of the most um, exciting projects right now is is the voting madness for the EMAs. Yes, indeed. How many people out there have voted? If you yeah. voted, yeah. write down voted right now. If you have voted. I want to know who has voted for us for the EMAs, because it's a very close battle. It's a very close battle. I know for, I've, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing because you guys are nominated for exactly. a TV award. Exactly. Could you guys just uh, speak a little bit um, louder? Sorry. No, but it's um, it's still on over there. Mm. Let's see if I don't good. catch yeah. up. I think everybody yeah. is probably over crash emails to me. Right. What's mm -hmm. said or something. Oh. Let's see. But I think it's still on in here. I don't know why it frees over here. Yeah. So we'll see if you voted. Put right down that you voted. But uh, we uh, that that's been really fun because our our family, fans, and friends around the world, the Echelon is actually nominated for an ambassador. That's the coolest thing, right? Yeah, and uh, uh, it, that's great. We're really proud of that. So I know that Lady Gaga has, you know about a zillion votes, but we've almost got a zillion, and I think we're actually beating Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Yeah, it's still on, and here the chat is still going on. Um, they ask, also ask you if you have any favorite live song that you really like to play. We love Night of the Hunter. We love um, playing uh, This is War. It's Search and Destroy Lately. Search and Destroy, Closer is always a fun one. I like, I've been liking uh, uh, the acoustic we've been doing. Yeah. yeah playing it's acoustic, good yeah. It's good, good times. They also ask if, uh, when is the Night of the Hunter video coming out? Well, this is it. They're watching the video. This is the Night of the Hunter. <laughs> okay. And they can edit. Do 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 that. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, you guys didn't tell them that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we thought you guys knew. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Also, that what's your favorite? Oh, damn it. I missed it. Wait, I'm sorry. Go. Uh, which is the next Guinness uh, record you want to break? Well, I'd like to go back in history and see if we could lodge a Guinness for the video that we shot in the People's Republic, Republic of China and mm. for A Beautiful Lie. Mm -hmm. Because I think A Beautiful Lie was the first video I ever shot 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Wow. And, and, and from yesterday was the first full-length American rock video ever shot in the People's Republic of China. Yeah. 
those are fun. I mean, you do this stuff just for the, the goof of it, but it is, it's, there's something about a public dec declaration that uh, is important and, um, and, uh, and fun. Um, also, there's a fan here from Greece that says that um, we all know ecology is a big part of your lives. What would you advise the Echelon to do for the planet? Well, check out a beautiful eye.org and uh, follow some other people on Twitter like uh, uh, Greenpeace or uh, Partners in Health. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of people that I follow on Twitter. You can see who I like to, to, to listen to and kind of check in with what they're doing. Uh, there's Amazon Watch, who I think are really great. There's, um, there are great organizations that protect rivers and wildlife. The World Wildlife Fund is really good as well. Um, you know, uh, you got to find a cause or what, what's something that's close and important to you and put your passion and energy into it. Will you ever release an acoustic CD? Oh, uh, you're really, yeah. uh, can, they still, can they still see us though? I uh, they, they, they still see you because I never because saw the voted thing, but maybe that hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's just yeah, the chat thing. is still on. I don't know why it frees on this um, screen, but uh, the, the other one it says it's still working. Yeah, but there's got to be more than just this right now. 7401, right? Yeah, probably. We need just to refresh it, but I don't know why it frees. Uh, what was about uh, your first song that you wrote? What was it about? Do you remember? The first song? Uh -huh, that you ever wrote. Who knows? I mean, uh, I can't remember. But I think when we were kids, we, we there's a, there's a recording. Someone had a recording. My yes. grandmother had a recording. But it's like tape. Oh, like a tape geez. making a music when we were like three. You can hear Jared uh, singing. Uh, How Literally. old were you? Like he can't, yeah. Three or four years old. Really? And I'm banging, actually. Um, nice. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing, right? Pretty, pretty useful. Yeah. Those damn kids banging away. What is the most influence on 30 seconds sports? Or 30 seconds sports? This life. Life, you guys. <laughs> I think our audience is a really big source of inspiration. Art, literature. Film, life, the universe, making new life, microbiology. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Autobiography. song from This Is War? <laughs> huh? Uh, what's your favorite song from This Is War? Oh, I ask you. All of them. We love them all. It was an incredible album to make. Really? An incredible album to perform over these past couple of years. Hey, can someone check on another computer and no, see? it's working. It's yeah. working. It's working. Okay, yeah. okay, great, great, okay. All right, so we just got a few minutes left, right? So we should wrap up uh, a couple of questions or something before we say goodbye to all of you beautiful people out there around the world. Uh, I'm gonna go look in the other room. Talk amongst yourselves. Sure. <laughs> all right, there we go. Come here, Tomo. Okay. Let's see if we can read. Uh, some, of some questions. Uh, come to Portugal, okay. We we would love to come back to Portugal. We'll do our best. How about that? Yes, we're, we're gonna try. Oh my God, I'm gonna die laughing. Don't Please do that. Don't die. <laughs> we like to laughing. Uh, we won't read that one. Uh, you experience the first Lollapalooza of Chile and the Chilean actually. Yes, you guys were amazing. They really were. It very was impactful. very welcoming. Thank you for that wonderful trip. We'll never forget to it. To Chile. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What's your impression when you come? When you came to Brazil, what I don't know how to describe that. Aside, aside, <laughs> no, the beaches. people were passionate. Yeah, it was a beautiful place to visit. I mean, great food, great people. M you know, the mountain, climbing that mountain at one time was yeah. crazy. Yeah, good times. Right? yeah, good times. Good times. Good uh, times. What's this one? Uh, what's your impression? Oh, you did uh, that. Oh, it's a little slow here. We're, we're, we're officially uh, frozen. You've managed, so You've managed so many things so far, and you got a lot of success. Do you feel complete in your life? No. Never. <laughs> I do not feel complete. Never. No. Here. What about a New Year's show? How about, yeah, we're talking about a New Year's Eve show. We're trying to figure that out as we speak. Uh, we're stuck. And I don't know what Stryl is. It's working downstairs. So just oh. Is it? Next question. 
Will you return to South Africa? Africa? <laughs> we will definitely return to South Africa. When is, is another question. South America is one of our favorite places. We love it. Yeah, we love it. We'll be back. <laughs> Maybe they can see the, the reflection in the glasses. Hey, look at that. Any other interesting questions? Trying. Is it kind of frozen up? It's all oh, frozen it's up. All frozen. Maybe we can try the ones that are. Um, no. No. You, should do uh, some, uh, you should do some tracking by the, with your chairs past the camera. Different arrangements. Oh, I have a question. By. What's yeah, the first. Um, that's oh. funny. <laughs> What's the first thing that goes through your mind before going on stage? Um, hoping that we. Um, that everything kind of goes right, that, that we uh, have a great show, that things don't, you know, we don't have technical problems. Yeah, that's the big thing right there, technical. Yeah, um, I think that we kind of just, we get pretty excited before we go on and um, really let go at that moment. There's a moment before you go on stage that you just let go. And that's what's exciting about it, too, is, is you don't know what's going to happen. You no. shouldn't. You shouldn't know what's going to happen either. Yeah. Good. So that's. I mean, if you could just, you know, say goodbye to all your fans all over the world. We're saying goodbye. Thank you Thank all you so much. much. This is our time to say, ciao, adios. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Thank you for everyone for participating in this chat. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been awesome. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Been fun. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Um, and uh, uh, should we tell everybody? Let's do it.